I know some of you had questions about what to do if your remote pilot certificate became not current anymore, if your currency expired during the COVID uh, lockdown. So uh, I've been saying for several weeks now that the FA is going to come up with a solution. And guess what? They have. So this video, I'm going to tell you what to do in order to become current again, if your currency expired or if your currency is about to expire for your remote pilot certificate, I'm going to show you how you can actually do it. And the great news is it's actually pretty easy. So let's get started. First, before I start talking about all the details, I want to say this, this is not, this is not for the initial certification. This is only for renewal. If you already have a remote pilot certificate in your pocket and you need to renew it after 24 calendar months, then this is for you. If you don't have a renewal yet, if you don't have a pilot certificate yet, a remote pilot certificate, you do not follow this video and you can stop. This doesn't apply to you. I just wanted to say this. I'm going to say it again at the very end. Now, a little bit of background here. If you have a remote pilot certificate, it actually doesn't expire. Your card on it does not have an expiration date. This is actually something that's confusing to people. And uh, what happens is that your currency actually expires. Your currency expires every 24 calendar months. And the way that you become current is by passing an FAA written exam. Now with the testing centers being closed during the lockdown, then a lot of people have been not able to uh, get their currency exam done so that they can become current again. Now this happens for people that took their exam in March or April, or hopefully I've, as I'm recording this, uh, not at the end of May, but this is also possible if the lockdown continues. So March, April or May of 2018, then eventually your certificate is going to expire, your, your currency is going to expire. So this means that at the moment, if this happened to you, you cannot fly as a remote pilot certificate, as a remote pilot, you cannot exercise the privileges of your certificate. So we've been waiting for the FA to come up with this solution and they finally did tonight. Now today, what the FA released is they actually released what's called special federal aviation regulation, which is very rare, by the way. Uh, this is probably not something we're gonna see very often. This is, I think, only the second time in my aviation life that I've seen this, and I've been around for quite a while. Um, but the, uh, the special federal aviation regulation, what it does is uh, it issues special regulation because of a special event, which this obviously qualifies for. Now, a little bit of background is you may or may not know this, but if you are a, a pilot under part 61, which means you're a private pilot, you're a commercial pilot or an airline transport pilot, and you're current, then the FAA actually allows you to get your part 107 certificate by taking a test online. Uh, if you need to renew your test after, or if you need to renew your currency after two years, you can also do it online as a part 61 pilot. Well, the good news is the FAA is actually going to allow non part 61 pilots to renew their written exam online, like part 61 pilots do. So I'm going to show you in this video how you do it. But first off, I want to really give you some information before you dive into the test. There are some things that you need to know. So who qualifies? The people that qualify for this are going to be remote pilots that already have a certificate and that certificate uh, currency has expired. So you need to take your latest test, your written exam, and you need to look on it and see the date. If the date is on or before April 30th of 2018, then at the moment, as I'm recording this video, you are not current to fly your drone. Probably as you watch this video, if you took your test in May of 2018, anytime in May of 2018, then you're gonna have to renew or you're gonna have to, to, yeah, to do the currency exam by May 31st, 2020. Okay, I'm gonna put all these numbers down at the bottom here, but if you took your test basically anytime in March, April, or May, or before that of 2018, then technically you're not current anymore and you need to do a recurrent exam. So this applies to you. The question is, that's gonna be from a lot of people is, how long is this going to be good for? I'm gonna take this test online and how good am I gonna be current for? Two years? No, you're not. It's gonna be only six months. So this is only a very special thing that the FAA is issuing. And they're saying that if you do it today, then you've got six calendar months before your uh, new recurrent, your online recurrent, I'm gonna call it, uh, expires. After that, you're gonna to have to go to a testing center again and do your test just like you would normally do this. And that's gonna be good for 20 24 calendar months. So you basically get a free extension for six months as long as you take the test online. Okay. 
Here's an example of a timeline. You took your test in March of 2018. Well, you could, you could not renew your test in March of 2020, and now this is May, okay? And so now you've been, you've been uh, not current for all of April, and then maybe a little portion of May. Now you can actually take the course online, and if you take it in May, then you're gonna have six months from May before your text expires. So that's gonna take you to October 31st of uh, 2020. That's when you're gonna have to, by that date, you're gonna have to do the recurrent exam with a testing center, okay? Do not take, I know I'm gonna post this a little bit early, do not take your renewal online on April 30th of 2020 because, uh, because then you're actually losing a month. So do it in May. So the big question is, how are you going to access this information? How are you going to take this test online? Well, the first step is you have to create an account on fasafety.gov if you don't have one already. The good news is this is not an account that's gonna to go to waste. This is a really good place for you to get information. I've been a member of FA Safety for almost 20 years now because, well, that's where you get recurrent information for uh, many aircraft pilots. And there's a lot of good information there for remote pilots as well. In the search bar, and I'm gonna show this to you in a minute, on live uh, on the computer, you're gonna type part 107, and then there's gonna be a list of things that show up, and there's two of them that you can take, either the initial or the recurrent. The FAA says you can take either of those, and the reason is, it's the same exam. Uh, do whatever you want, I don't have a preference, quite frankly. I'm actually gonna show you live how to do the recurrent one, uh, just because that's, that's why I took the initial, actually, uh, when I first did my part 107, uh, because I qualified for it. So you're gonna to go to the introduction page, then you're gonna click on page one, then on page two, then you're gonna review the material, and then you'll have access to the exam. Once you take the exam, then here's a little bit of information. This is 35 questions, okay? The actual test with the FA, the written exam is 40 questions. This is actually 35 questions. You must complete the entire exam in one session, and you actually have 90 minutes to do it, which should be plenty of time if you're trained. Um, you may review the course information at the same time, which is kind of cheating, right? It's an open book exam, if you want. When you're done, you're gonna click on grade exam and then it's gonna give you your grade immediately. Now, here's the trick with this exam. You have to get 100%. You're gonna say, wow, this is kind of pretty high, right? Usually I have to get 70%. Well, in this case, actually, they're going to give you all the wrong, info, all the wrong um, uh, questions that you get on the exam, and then you can correct them right there without retaking the entire test, and then resubmit until you get 100. Okay, this is what we call corrected to 100. Uh, this is what we do with a pre-solo exam, for example, for uh, many aircraft uh, pilots. But so you'll have to get 100%, but you'll have a chance to review just the question you missed and then send them. Again, I'm gonna show you in a minute because I, I took the, the test, the exam already, and I made one mistake on purpose, and then I fixed it, and then I'll show you how you can submit that. So again, before we get to this, this is not for initial. You cannot take the initial exam online. And the reason I'm emphasizing on this because I get so many questions on a daily basis from people asking, can I do the exam online? No, you can't. And you can't do it in this case. This is only for recurrent purposes. And this is only gonna be for a short period of time unless the FA decides that in the future you can renew online. But for right now, this is just a temporary reprieve. So let's get to the computer. I wanna show you how we're gonna do this on the computer and then you'll be done. You'll be ready to go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to fasafety.gov right here and then you're going to either create a login create an account or if you have one already you're just going to enter that once you're in then in the featured course it should still be there in the featured course you see the recurrent exam right here or the initial exam right here i'm going to click on the recurrent exam and here's the exam right here and we're going to click on so it's just the introduction review course right here and here it is. So the meat of the information is right here. You need to read this stuff. I'm gonna skip through, but you need to read. This is the intro, that's where we are. Then I'm gonna click on page one. And once we get to page one, you still have page two, review, and then the exam will pop up. So again, you read the information in here. If you need some renewal training, you can get it right here. There's some, the FA is gonna provide you information. And then we're gonna have right here, number three, review. And then finally, when you're ready to go, then you're going to click on exam, okay? And when you start taking the exam, all the questions are gonna load up. Like I said, 35 questions total. And then you'll be able to answer each of these questions. Then you're gonna be done, you're gonna click grade exam. And when you grade the exam, it's gonna tell you which one you got wrong. 
I'm going to show you right here. I filled out 35 questions earlier and then I got to the very end. And then now you can see right here what happened is um, I had one question wrong all the way at the bottom and then I'm going to fix it. It was 10 days and I'm going to grade exam again and then here my result 100%. Now I'm done and uh, that information is available on my safety.gov account. That's it. That's really all you have to do. Um, save this for your records and you're good for another six months. So if you did this in May of 2020 then you have and you have from uh, the end of six calendar months, which is going to be the end of November of 2020, if my math is correct. So this is it. And um, I'm sure some of you are very relieved that this is happening. So uh, Good luck, take the exam and let me know how it goes. And then I'll see you guys on Friday. Actually, I have a, a cool little surprise on Friday for the news update. So see you guys.